Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, tutorial. Um, I've had a lot of my clients ask me for these, so I figured I'd make them for them. But, uh, you know, if it works for them, it should work for everyone. So I figured I'd just throw it up on the YouTube channel so everyone uh, could benefit from it. So uh, Ubiquity uh, Networks is a pretty affordable, quick, cheap, easy to use system. And they do networks, access points, security cameras, door access, doorbells and a bunch of other things. Uh, but we're going to talk about the Unify Protect system, which is their Unify line of security cameras. So um, let's just get started in part one here. All right, so I am going to be doing this remotely for uh, from a client's uh, login. So you're going to see that the web address is going to be account.ui.com or unify.ui.com. And if you are on site, I always suggest that you statically assign your NVR, which is the recorder for your cameras, and then hit the IP address directly because then it's network traffic and not internet traffic. Um, so I'm going to log in. I'm the admin for them. And you're actually going to see a bunch of different sites that I manage here. Um, so these are all the sites that I manage. We're going to go into this NVR here. So let's start here. So this is the OS dashboard. And what you're going to see here is these are the applications that um, the NVR is running. This is going to tell you the OS. This is where you turn on and off auto updates for uh, both the applications and for the OS. So you have the physical unit OS, which is this guy. And then these are the applications, which you can update those as well. So each one has firmware updates. Um, and then if you go to the left over here, uh, you have admins. So like this is the list of admins for this client right here. Uh, and then you have the unified devices that are on that NVR. And then you have the console settings. Console settings are such as the name, when do you want to do the backup for the cloud. Um, you can manually back it up right now. I can restore from a backup that's older, set my time zone. I can even like like download it to like a specific city, everything. Uh, tell the LED on the face of it to be on or off. Uh, sharing the analytics and improvements to Unify. Uh, I can restart it from here remotely. I can shut it down. I can transfer the ownership. Uh, because I'm the manager for the, for this church when they decide that if they don't want to use me anymore, I would transfer the ownership. I can factory reset it from here and I can download the support file to give to the uh, to Unify. Uh, from here, you can set the Ethernet network. So on the back of the NVR, you have an Ethernet and an SFP. So right now I have the SFP is set to be static and then I have the Ethernet port to be DHCP. And that is so that if it does, if the SFP fails, it'll just grab an address so it'll continue to be able to function. The map here, or this is where you can actually upload a PDF of your facility and then put cameras where they are on, on there. Uh, system log is is a bunch of things here. So uh, all shows you every single log. Critical is, hey, we lost remote management connection and what time. So a lot of this usually is internet issues, that types of things. Uh, this is letting you know when things were updated, when things have available updates. Administrative activity, this shows you where uh, everyone that logs in. Uh, then this tells you when it was scheduled to back up, if it backed up. So you can see all these backups that I have here and then push notification settings. I can have all of these customizable set, right? Do I want to get emails or push notifications or both for all these individual things? And then if we, so that's all the system logs. If we move down to storage, so this is where it's going to tell you everything about the, the hard drives that are in there. So this is one of the NVR normal ones. Uh, so it's got four bays in it. And I have um, a total of 48 terabytes in here, which means it can be read for about 47.7 of them. Um, and configuration average storage, great, awesome, basic protection right now. I This is for redundancy. So you can do a couple of different things here. You can do high protection, which puts it in a higher RAID. Um, and so that means that like you essentially like get your storage cut down. 
Um, so right now I am in basic protection because I just wanted more storage because I'm at a facility that nothing that we're doing there is so high uh, priority that if like if we have massive drive failure that like we're going to be in trouble. So uh, because the plan is to add more and more cameras, that's kind of why it's set up there. And then this is where you get to be able to add a hot spare. So you can set up, hey, I want to be able to set these up to be able to pull uh, a drive off of this, the shelf and stick it in there if there's a drive failure. Um, and then this gives me the model numbers and everything of all of the individual drives that are in there. All four of them are the exact same. So that's great. And then we have uh, this about our console, which just gives you the basic information. So that is the Unify OS for uh, Protect for this. So stay tuned for part two, where we dive into getting into the actual Protect software and going through all of the settings there.